This is constructed in the um, summer holidays by Anselm and Sandy and Alan and Graham. Right. And it was just a big garden. Double the workspace for the students. Right. What are doing on the upholstering this pad for the sanding machine? Here's a little model of the wine cabinet, right. which you've just seen constructed. So Tiny. Side, side table. So then curve, those curved bits at the bottom down there, are those bits there. Some of the more strange and unusual objects that can be found in the workshop. Like some sort of sledgehammer, but they're probably used as weight. The radial arm saw in the machine workshop. This is um, known as Big Bertha, um, which is a giant belt sander, very useful for um, difficult pieces of wood. Hello. We heat. This is how we heat the uh, workshops. This is gold. Gold. This is liquid gold. <laughs> this has come from the machine shop. And Not explosive, though. No, no. oh, yeah, it's good is explosive it? stuff. <laughs> Master Chippendale Anselm talks about how he set up the school over 30 years ago and about its future prospects. Well, I think like most people, one's rather lost, doesn't know what to do. So you set up a little workshop in a shed somewhere, and then that shed grows bigger. And then you get some more work, and it grows what bigger. What about your furniture that you have made, your blue furniture? There it is, there's a blue piece of furniture. Why is it the blue? blue period. Well, because most people don't colour it blue, so I do. <laughs> Some of Anselm's unusual work include these wooden kilts. Over the next few years, the school is due to be handed to Anselm's son and the next generation of Chippendales while he himself starts a new school up north. Um,